And to this day, I feel... I grew up in Tennessee and Virginia, right on the border, where prejudice and discrimination was a part of life. My mother and my grandmother were really different at that time, and they planted seeds that would spring forth later on. Women have a special gift for being grateful, acknowledging, and spreading goodness in the world. I felt this is where I belong, and from then on, my time and heart and energy was devoted to that effort because this was this was my life's work this was what I wanted and in the beginning we would go to city council meetings and we saw the mayor and the city council people uh, kind of punching each other with their elbows saying they're here again and that the troublemakers to are me. here in the audience again the good part of that story is not too many years down the road, they came to us asking if we would help them create a fair housing program within their city. Demonstrated that I was doing the right thing, that I was making a difference, that I was having some influence where it needed to be. very, very good about the work. That we did. And I wouldn't presume to take credit for all of it. I just happened to be in the spot where I was swept up in this. And it was one of the pivotal experiences in my life. We have passed several laws since that, that sort of bolsters women's rights. And I'm very proud to have been part of some of the legislation that has gone through and I feel it's a testament to what happened and what can happen when a small group of people want to make change and this change came slowly very slowly but and we're still working on it we are still working on it Everyone is valuable, whoever you are, be you man, woman, child, wherever you're from. And there's, there's hope for a better life for people.